All right, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Ramadi Hub again. I'm your host Dr. Jota and yes, I've been sick and I'm still sick actually. I mean my throat is killing me, literally killing me. I get COVID as you know and uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. Not great, okay, but a little bit better. I mean good enough to um, report a bunch of things that we have for today after the um, event of the Ballon d'Or. As you know, Benzema won the Ballon d'Or. Um, as everybody knew already but the most important guys is um, I have to make an announcement very important for y'all and the reason for that is because as of today I, I mean I highly recommend to y'all follow me in my Twitch channel follow me in my Spanish channel Jota Real Madrid because as of today I've just hired I mean I've just sign a person it's good it's been a great signing i mean let me tell you it's, the guy is, is a journalist is a very um important journalist he's been doing a great job when it comes to um transfer rumors signings players futures interviews all the stuff actually the guy already participated with me months ago when we had on the table all the Thing, all the drama with Erling Haaland and his future, right? He's called Edu Cornago, and he will be he will be joining me um, as of today. All um, it's going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays, okay? And he will be bringing a lot of good stuff to the channel, stuff that you want to know. What is that about? For example, today we are going to talk about Tony Cruz. We're going to talk about Harry Kane, and we are going to talk about Kylian Mbappe. Because although he um, came up to public and say no, it is not true. I don't want to. I don't want to quit. I don't want to get out of Paris Saint Germain and all the stuff. Let me tell you that is not true. Okay, what he's doing basically is to follow a strategy, right? He's a very strategic guy, and um, he will. Or I mean, actually, he's looking forward to leave Paris Saint Germain, but he's not going to tell you that way. So that's why we have to Edu Cornado to explain us what is going on with Kylian Mbappe and what is going to happen with him and his future and more stuff regarding to Ramadi. So let me get started with um, the first thing I want to talk about because it's very, I mean, after the El Clasico, as you know, um, El Clasico, the game, I couldn't upload my own analysis because I was so sick. Believe me, I couldn't even talk and that's why I didn't uh, make any video about it. And uh, yeah, my temperature right now is going up and high. All the, I mean, it's going up and down all the time. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, I almost have energy to do anything, but it's okay. So after El Clasico, one of the most highlighted, um, one of the most outstanding players was Tony Cruz, right? When he passes, I mean, when he passed the first ball and the first goal to Vinicius Jr. falling down, it was awesome. Okay, he uh, delivered a kind of masterclass of the passes, right? And um, a lot of people want him to renew another year with Real Madrid, right? So we, we agree with that. But the guy is not quite sure about it. Let me tell you, the guy is not, I mean, he's hesitating about it because on one hand, he's playing nuts. I mean, he's playing really good. On the other hand, he thinks this is the right moment to say bye, right? This is the right moment to retire. I mean, as you know, over the history, we've, um, we have seen a lot of players, right, uh, that really didn't know when to say bye. So they, st they, they started to stretch a little bit more and squeeze their retirement a little bit more and postponing their retirement a little bit more. And what happened was you had to see them on the field, I mean, displayed on the field and not playing very good, actually um, doing very, very poor performances, right? And that is what we don't want to see from Tony Cruz and any other player, right? And probably that is what he is thinking, right? He doesn't want to be on the field um, becoming a kind of uh, problem for the rest of the teammates. So he's probably thinking about retirement next year, 2023, because his contract will come to an end in 2023. So we still don't know what is going to happen. But uh, according to Edu Cornago, I made a call last night uh, to Edu and, and I asked him, Hey Edu, do you know anything about Tony Cruz? And he said, um, I've been talking to the people around Tony Cruz 
and they don't want to confirm anything, they don't want to deny anything, they are just hesitating. I mean, they didn't say specifically, yes, we're going to do this or we're going to do that. They're not hinting any single kind of sign so you can interpret it, right? He's going to stay or he's going to leave. My opinion in these cases is when the player really doesn't want to say anything is because he wants to leave, right? Otherwise, he will be um, glad and happy to share with everybody that he wants to stay, right? But in this case that he's kind of not saying anything and postponing all the stuff and not talking about it, my opinion is Tony Cruz wants to leave, right? Not he wants, but he feels he has to leave this year, right? So to me, the 90% chance for him is to leave this year um, at Real Madrid. So I don't know, today we are going to have to Edu Cornago in the channel. So about 2 p.m. No, it's going to be 1.30 p.m. Okay, Edu Cornago will show up in my channel 1.30 p.m. Um, European time. He will be there or if you can't, right, because it's so early in America or something like that, I will upload the interview in my YouTube channel, in my Spanish YouTube channel, Jota Real Madrid, later on, okay? So don't miss out because it's very, very worthwhile to see what he has to say about that. So that is number one. Number two, the other thing he told me to talk about today, it was about Harry Kane, okay? Harry Kane apparently wants to leave, wants out the Premier League, wants out Tottenham as of 2024. And his next destination apparently has to be La Liga, the Spanish La Liga. Why? Because he always have, um, he always had the desire. He's been always trying to play in La Liga, in the Spanish La Liga, right? So we don't know the name of the team, of his favorite team to play in, but Edu Cornago told me Hurricane wants to leave um, by 2024. So we gotta, uh, we gotta be careful because he might. Um, start to work on a deal with any team, whoever it is, now, right? So that is the other thing we are going to talk about today in my Twitch channel. So that's why I'm recommending you guys um, to subscribe my uh, Twitch channel, okay? Jota Real Madrid, the same name. And of course, um, if you're not doing it already, just do it. Follow me on my social accounts, Twitter, Instagram, Jota Real Madrid. Follow me there because I am going to share a lot of information regarding to that so you never miss out anything, okay? So that is as far as Hurricane and that is the most important. Now, this, I mean, no, the most important comes now and it's about Kylian Mbappe. As you know, by Friday, we learned the guy, the guy, the player, wants to leave PSG according to L'Equipe, right? He's not okay with all the things that are happening right now in PSG. The uh, transfer market policy, he didn't like it. Um, PSG didn't bring the people he wanted he wanted to bring for the project and Luis Campos is not getting along with anybody else either uh, Luis Campos is kind of in a kind of fight with uh, Al Khelaifi so for all these reasons the guy really wants to um, join Real Madrid I mean wants to leave PSG and join Real Madrid why? because um, Julien Lorenz and Romain de Molina have been pushing so hard with the option of Real Madrid in Twitter, right? And these guys are very good friends with Kylian Mbappe. So it's not a coincidence at all. Now, last night, he came out to public to deny everything. But he knows, he knows, and very well, he's looking forward to leave Paris Saint-Germain as soon as possible. He knows that, and that is exactly what Edu Cornago told me last night. The guy is doing his job. The guy is denying the rumors to hold on a little bit, to put everything on hold until January. And then in January, he will try to leave. He will try to leave Paris Saint-Germain. And he'll, he's going to try, he's going to push hard to play for Real Madrid, but that is going to be almost impossible because Real Madrid is not interested at all in signing him. But there is a team there is a team in the Premier League willing to um, splash the cast out of the window to sign him. And that team is Liverpool. As you know, Liverpool um, 
hasn't gotten so far a very good season and it's pretty obvious he needs i mean liverpool needs a kind of reinforcement right and that might be Kylian mbappe so for now liverpool is the only team willing to put everything on the table to sign Kylian mbappe so believe it or not it's true but believe it or not real madrid is not interested at all in the player okay there's no reason for us to think he's going to play for real madrid because right now there's nobody literally nobody from real madrid trying to push for him a single inch right so nothing there's no choice for him to join real madrid this is what i have guys and this is all we are going to talk about today in my twitch channel and of course later on in youtube so if you want to follow me guys you got the um i mean that is the name hot real madrid you type it in twitch you find me and then you subscribe or if you wanna i mean follow me or subscribe subscribe is you know paper i mean you have to pay for it but if you don't want to pay just you can follow me and that's it okay so that is what i have for you guys bye bye see you in the next one